G'day guys, welcome aboard the Maritimo S600. In 2022, this is a worldwide release and we've got the pleasure today of being in the Whit Sundays at Whitehaven Beach to uh, give you a walkthrough on, on some of the features of this boat. If you're a Maritimo fan and you've, you've been involved in the business and watched them through, you'll know about their, their offshore heritage and their blue water performance and their, their long range motor yachts. But the thing that's amazing about these boats is not only that, but it's the finish and the quality of this Australian made boat that really sets them apart. What we're gonna do at the start is just show you some of the features. So here's our fridge freezer at the back here. We can set that to a temperature that would suit. And then as we come up here, we've got our stainless steel barbecue, our sink. And this is our real entertaining area of the boat. So when we're doing water sports and we're playing throughout the boat, this is where we can be really a part of the action and still entertaining. Now, with the Maritimo range, we have two different types of transom. We have an enclosed transom, which is more traditional, and our open style. So this is our offshore transom, our enclosed one, which means the whole back of the boat is at one height and one freeboard. We have our live bait tank. We have great access through our transom door and it's a big, wide, deep area for blue water boating. But it also gives us the great opportunity if we have pets or kids, we can really enclose this area and feel a bit more comfortable with, with our crew inside the boat. One other thing that they've done tremendously well, which might be a bit hard to get in the video, but the back of the hard top goes all the way back to our barbecue area here. Gives us great protection for our seating arrangement. So if we're going along and we're in an offshore condition, People are safe, dry, and comfortable in the back seating area with this beautiful roof that we can also have clears that drop down and really extend the inside of the boat. So as we walk up one single step, we have our full length rear lounge. Because of the beam of the boat, this is just massive. And these two seating arrangements are actually options. So they're port and starboard consoles. The starboard side's an L shape with storage under it. And we also have a folding table. One thing I do love about this position rather than the rear lounge, especially when we're anchored, is we are really looking at the action. We're looking backwards rather than sitting forwards. And um, it gives you the opportunity to have beautiful views like we have today. We have our side clears on the side of the boat, which is stopping that cross wind and maybe a little bit of the spray either side. And then we have this great access into our galley area. So as we come in, Everything's just a beautiful timber finish and wherever it can be integrated, it has been. So we've got an integrated Miele fridge. It all has our offshore locks on and off. Simple push of the button and we have our fridge and we have our freezer. Looks fantastic. We also have our Miele oven, our solid surface bench top. We have a Miele washing machine. The island bench top is solid, so you don't have to worry about that moving. We also have awesome laid out pantry, ice machine, and our Miele wine fridge. Now, one thing you will notice, and it takes a little bit of time in these boats to really get your feel, but there's two things you see from this area. One's this panoramic view off the windows that this boat caters for. So we get natural light through our sunroof, and we also have these huge windows either side. 
Now the thing about these windows is they're actually sliding for such a big window, all you need to do is push the tab and slide it back, which is unbelievable on days like today where we can get that beautiful sea breeze coming through the boat. And we also have a sunroof, which we mentioned. Now, one thing we do have in this as well, which is a really key feature, especially for offshore conditions, we have minimal steps throughout the boat. So it's not a very undulating floor, so you're not gonna sort of trip and find your way through. And for the guys that are a little bit taller, we have a six foot four clearance in every room. So if you're worried about height and ducking and weaving, the Maritimo might be a great option. L-shaped lounge with a folding table. And then we also, if we're dining here, these electric driver and navigator seats can spin as well. So it can be a part of the dining table. We have a massive lounge on our port side here. We have a pop-up 50 inch TV that comes out of here, which we can see clearly from the back of the boat. And just one of the best helms I've seen in a, a 60 foot sedan. We've got beautiful Garmin 24 inch screens, scan your engine management information, our throttles, and just a very clear and clean laid out dash. Now, as we work our way forward, one thing that Maritimo do exceptionally well is they give us, as we spoke about, is natural light, but an atrium style staircase. So it's not an enclosed tunnel, it's a big wide open area. So it's very comfortable to walk down here. We have our two options. We have our VIP cabin, our day head, which also utilizes as a VIP um, ensuite as well. So it's got two doors. So one door here for our typical day boating, shower, toilet, solid surface flooring. But also at night, we can have direct access into our VIP, which has an off-centered VIP bed. Now, very unique and something Maritimo really give a lot of thought to, flat flooring, huge bed, natural light, windows, 43 inch TV, storage for days, a huge amount of storage under the bed as well. And it's the sort of boat that we can have a day cruise and go down the beach and have a fantastic day on the water, or we can be on this boat for several days or weeks and entertain with all the creature comforts that we have from home. We do have a third cabin as well, which is on the starboard side here. It's two single beds great for the kids. And then if you wanna slide those two beds together, we can make that into one double. But the big ticket off the boat is down here at our full beam master. Awesome headroom, flat flooring, king size bed, great windows either side with portholes, flush mount 43 inch TV, and heaps of cupboard storage. So again, if we're gonna stay on the boat for a while, we have all this room to do our, in to, to set up all our gear. Now, one other thing we do have in these, which is awesome, is a full hanging locker. And if we wanna do some washing, we have a Miele washer dryer just down here. Lastly, let's check out the master ensuite. Again, solid surface flooring, full height shower, great mirror. We also, um, have a porthole window there as well. So we'll work our way back upstairs and just have one last quick look at the foredeck of the boat. So one thing that's very important in a boat like this is to have 360 degree access. When we're anchoring or we wanna set up the sunbed at the front, it's gotta be safe. So we're gonna walk along here. It's very high internal freeboard, so it's very safe for the whole family to come forward. I have a beautiful day bed that's got a backrest that reclines up nice and deep. This is what boating's all about. We're gonna have some sunshine, beautiful beach, great layout, and spend some time with your family and friends. One last part of the boat I wanna show you is the upstairs roof. Now on our roof, what we've done is we've allocated to put a, uh, a 250 kilo davit up there, and that gives us the option to put our tender away and keep it out of the way in such a convenient spot. So we're gonna work our way back. We have a 250 kilo Davco. Here's our foot pads for our, for our tender. All our sat TV, night vision, radars, the whole box and dice. 
every inch of this boat has been used to its maximum efficiency. Heaps of room up here, and we do have one more special spot to show you when it comes to room. So we'll go back downstairs. With our motors being more midship and our Maritimo engine bays, which are just unbelievably well laid out, we have what we call a lazarette. So if we come to the back of the boat, in our Maritimo models, this whole floor is gonna lift up for storage. So what I'm going to do is do that now. So you wanna tuck all the toys away, if it's paddle boards, fishing gear, keep it all out of the elements and out of harm's way. We have these two hydraulic uh, struts that lift up. And we'll just go up a little bit higher so we can get an idea of what it looks like under here. And we can see what kind of space we have under here. It's been utilized just under the boat at a nice low freeboard. Tents and gear and everything we could ever ask for, we can tuck away and keep it safe. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Our Maritimo boats are spectacular in person. We'd love to show you through. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us here at Streaker Marine and we'll uh, love to help with your next boat purchase. Thanks for watching.